Hey, what is up guys? Kevin Reardon here from Kevin Reardon Life and today I have a cool product review for you. Uh, this company called Nanotips was kind enough to send out uh, their product to me and what it is is it is a liquid that you can put on any type of glove, whether a leather glove or a fabric glove and it will turn any glove into a touch screen uh, glove. So what do you say we take a look at these things and see if it's something that you might want to check out. Here we go. So here we go, here is nanotips. They have two different uh, kinds. They have the blue nanotips, which is for uh, use on fabrics, um, types of gloves like this, or you know heavier gloves, but um, this is the only fabric glove I could find that I had. Um, but types of gloves like this, yes, you can turn this into a touchscreen glove with the blue mixture. And then you have the black mixture, which is for uh, gloves with a leather tip. Um, so I'm going to put the, the um, the blue and the black on my two different gloves and show you guys how this works and see if it's something that you might want to get. So let's get into it. Let's start with the black one first. So here is the black box and this is the uh, this is the nanotip thing bottle that you will be getting. It's kind of like a, uh, a nail polish type of bottle. For the black, uh, it can treat up to uh, 30 fingers, um, which is pretty good. <laughs> that's uh, it's like three pairs of gloves, and that's if you put some uh, this mixture on every um, on every fingertip. But uh, for me, I would only put it on one fingertip, so I could go literally put this on thirty different gloves. Imagine how many uh, winter seasons you could have this stuff. And uh, once you put it on, it does last for two weeks um, or more. Uh, it could last a couple months, depending on how much you actually use it. So let's put this on the black glove. So here we are with the glove and the nano tips, and I'm gonna be applying the uh, nano tip uh, to this uh, finger right here. So as you can see, it's just kind of a, um, a nail polish type mixture. There's the mixture that you'll be putting on uh, the glove. It is a black mixture, so it will blend in with any black leather. So let's put it on there, shall we? I'm gonna make it a nice big area on this glove, um, just so I know I won't have to redo it later. You just kind of put it on there. It's kind of like painting your nails if you're into that type of thing. <laughs> and you do want to make sure that you even it all out, which you can do so with the brush. Now it does take a little while to dry, but they said that you can either let it air dry or you can, um, for quicker drying results, you can do it with a uh, hair dryer, uh, which I have not tried. So I'm gonna try it with the hair dryer. Uh, I've only let it air dry before, but I'm gonna try it with the hair dryer for this review to see approximately how fast it will dry. All right, so there that is. I'm gonna take this into uh, where I have the hair dryer, let this dry a little bit, and what it should do is it will kind of put a, a skin-like feeling over where I just did that, so when I touch my phone, it should then uh, work as a touchscreen glove. So I'm gonna go dry this and I will be back. All right, so here we are back with the glove that I put the mixture on. Um, you can see now, now that I've applied it, let me get a close-up again. So here's a close-up of the fingertip that I put um, on the nano tips, and that's the fingertip, and there's virtually no difference between what I put the nano tip on and what a uh, non nano tipped finger is. Uh, so you can see the difference. It looks awesome. It blends right in with the black leather gloves. Super fantastic. So now let's do a test to see if it actually turned this glove into a touchscreen glove. All right, so here's my iPad. First, I'm going to use uh, one of the other fingers on the glove just to show that this glove was not a touchscreen glove. All right, that glove is not working at all. No matter where I touch on my iPad, it won't work. Now with the nano tip glove, look at that. 
it works fantastic. It doesn't leave any type of residue behind. It doesn't leave the liquid behind. Um, I, uh, j like I said, I used a hair uh, dryer on this thing and it was so much faster than letting it uh, air dry. I, when I did a, a test of this product, um, I air dried it um, and it took a while. Like I played a couple of uh, battlefield matches and um, it was still like a little, a little damp after that. Um, but I just used the hair dryer, and within like two minutes, it was ready to go. Uh, so you can see, my glove is now a nice touchscreen device. So now let's try the fabrics. All right, so here is the blue nano tips, and this is for uh, fabrics, um, anything that's not leather, pretty much. Uh, this is what you want to use the blue on. Just be cautious um, and know that it does come out blue. Um, that hence why it's called blue. So if you have a white pair of gloves. Um, it's not terrible, but it will dye them blue the slightest bit. I mean, it is just a little area that you're actually applying the nano tips to, but it will still turn blue. So just know that. Uh, but I applied mine to a black pair of gloves. Um, so I've already applied the uh, nano tips. Like I said, I did this test a couple days ago, and I want to use, um, I want to show the period of time that it can last because I haven't added this uh, to this glove today. Um, so here's what the glove is normally. Can't touch the screen whatsoever. I then added the, uh, applied the nano tips blue to it. And this is after a couple days now. And guess what? I can still, still use my iPad and it's moving flowingly and it's great and it's super awesome. So nano tips blue works just as good as nano tips black and you can put it on fabrics and uh, it's a much faster dry time than it is with the leather. The leather takes a slight bit longer, but again, use that hair dryer because it will definitely dry the nano tips up four times as fast or more. <laughs> it's so freaking quick uh, with the hair dryer, I couldn't believe it. So let's do a bit of a wrap up, shall we? So there you have it guys, there is the black and the blue nano tips liquid. Uh, you've seen it work, you see how it works, you see how good it is at what it does. Um, and the cool part is, I know when I shop for winter gloves, I shop for gloves that are touchscreen. And a lot of touchscreen gloves are getting to be quite expensive because it's a new thing, especially with all those wearable tech and everything coming out. So touchscreen gloves are definitely a new thing, but unfortunately you gotta pay for it. Um, and they don't, you know, touchscreen gloves aren't necessarily super durable. They're normally just for touchscreening and that's about it. So you get maybe a couple of weeks out of it and then you gotta switch them out anyway. With nano tips, uh, this stuff is gonna last a couple months um, a couple weeks to a couple months on your uh, on your gloves so that's a super big plus um, and it works great and you can buy your favorite pair of gloves or a super duper good pair of gloves and then apply the nano tips and then it will be touch screen uh, these bottles they retail for twenty dollars a piece uh, the black is twenty the blue is twenty uh, if you would like to order them I will add the link right now someplace in here. Uh, the link is www.nanotips.ca. And the cool part is Nanotips was nice enough to give me a discount on Nanotips to share with you guys. So if you go and apply the code uh, in the checkout, uh, you wanna use code Kevin Reardon. Again, I'll add that right here. Uh, Kevin Reardon, and you will get 25% off your purchase and free shipping, which is pretty awesome and really nice of Nanotips. So you can get both of these bottles for super cheap. It'll take 10 bucks off and you get free shipping. So, you know, 30 bucks for two bottles of nano tips and it will last you, uh, what I say, 30 seasons <laughs> practically. If you add uh, one bottle uh, to one fingertip each season, you're going to get 30 seasons of winter out of one little bottle of nano tips. So definitely check it out. I hope you guys like it. If you happen to order them, let me know. Um, I would love to know what you guys think. And obviously we can't use it right now because it's summer out, but it's a nice thing to know and look into uh, for the winter that is gonna be coming within the next couple months. So I will see you guys next time. Thanks for checking it out. Uh, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe button, and I will catch you guys here next time. Peace.